Yeah, man, this is Hurt Gang 101, where we divide the real from the fake. And uh, I went and snatched up my boy Chris Style, man, you know what I'm saying? So he can go ahead and let everybody know what's good with him and everything. Chris Style, you done? Man, what's happening, Big Hurt? <laughs> what's going on, my nigga? Uh, just want to go ahead and start it off, man. I got some, you know, some questions that I want to go ahead and hit you up with, and you just let us know the feedback. Uh, first off, you know, just uh, tell the world who you are. Well, what's going on, world? You know what I'm saying? I'm shooting y'all from South Carolina from a small city called Mineta. Um, I do a lot of work in Columbia, and I go by the name of Chris Dow. So call me Chris Dow the King. Some just call me Chris. Uh, I sing R&B. I do a little rap, too, from time to time, but mostly I'm doing R&B right now. I got a single out now called Strip Girl. I got a CD that just came out in April called Game Cocky. And we about to put out another one December 2nd. It's coming real soon with the release party at Apple Bottom. It's your boy Chris Dow coming out with Quiet Storm. We got a lot of um, slow jams on there. And I think everybody's going to enjoy the CD because I'm really excited about it myself. <laughs> bad, bad. So uh, how long have you been doing music? Man, I've been um, actually singing since I've been about three years old in a church full of people. I've never been really shy to sing in front of people. I, I've been, you know, doing this for a minute as far as that. Uh, as far as being in the studio, I've been recording since I've been 12 years old under the management of High Heights Management. My uncle, uh, Uncle English, Eastside Dennis, you know what I'm saying? We call him Eastside the Unk, you know what I'm saying? So um, we've been pushing for a minute though, man. I've been on Columbia Music team since about 2000. 2005 maybe so you know we've been doing this for a little bit okay 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 i have been in the studio with you you know what i'm saying so i know you get it in um but one you thing know. I know, huh? so, you already know we got plenty of men oh yeah you already know but uh you know since, since knowing you i ain't never know what you know what truly inspired you to uh do music um to, to say this honestly I feel like life's been always pushing music in my direction. You know, I've been um, in the band. Um, I was in the chorus. Uh, I've been doing music at church. I was playing on the band at church. I was singing worship and praise. It's like, you know, everything around me has been, um, you know, musically influenced. And um, my greatest inspiration is uh, Michael Jackson and also Marvin. So those two have really influenced you know, how I pursued music. Okay, okay. You say Michael Jackson, so I'm pretty sure you know how to moonwalk. You already know. I've been doing that for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? In the little tidy whities trying to moonwalk in the kitchen with the socks. <laughs> tidy whities right? <laughs> it's when I was little now. I was about to sell them six. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, I hear you now. All right, so, um, like, what mainstream artists you ever open up for? Um, I opened up for um, Travis Porter. I opened up for uh, Ray J. A lot of artists that came out um, during the uh, Power Session in uh, Augusta, which mm -hmm. was in 2008. Um, I recently had a show with uh, Verse Simmons at uh, Metro Live. Um, okay. I work with a, a couple artists. I, I met a lot of artists. As far as open, oh, Pastor Troy, I can't forget that. This was back in 2007. I opened up with Pastor Troy and something. And uh, people oh. still talk to me about that this day. I had a song called Modern Street back then. So it's kind of surprised that people still remember that. But <laughs> yeah, I, I have a little resume of artists I've been in front of. So I feel good to say that. Feel blessed. Oh, that's what's up, man. I'm glad to hear that. Um, one thing I want to ask you, man, is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this right here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one, one thing I can remember about you, you know, was when, uh, you came down there to the country, you know what I'm saying, right there to my crib, and, uh, it was my birthday, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you, you went full, man, surprised me, you know what I'm saying, singing happy birthday and everything, you got the girls that was, uh, that was down there with us, you got them singing and involved and everything, so that was just a special moment for me, you know what I'm saying, but, um, 
I just want to know, you know, what was like a standout moment uh, that you could remember, you know what I'm saying, as far as whether it was dealing with a show or, you know what I'm saying, just any other artist. Like, like what, what type of little standout moment, you know what I'm saying, or what was uh, memorable to you? Um, you know what? My most my most memorable moment was performing at the um the summer fest in Columbia. Uh, I think um I forgot what station was hosting. I think it was 100.1, and uh, it was at Colonial Center. And it was so crazy because like it's thousands of people there, and you can barely see any of them while you're performing. There's lights all in your face. Like, it's the stuff that you really see on TV. So it's like, wow, you know, the setting was so crazy. And yeah. um, music, you know, start playing that, and you know, and then the crowd goes wild. So I'm like, wow, like, you know, that's the, great, the greatest yeah. feeling in the world to just have a crowd go wild once you come out. And, you know, they all know your song, people singing with you, taking pictures. That, that was the most standout moment I had. I, that's I say that. And you know what? Um... We always still be talking about your birthday and the other times I done came down there. Look, man, we done made memories, dog. We got to make some more. Oh, yeah, you already know, man. So, um, what projects you got going on, man? You know, I'm hearing a lot of buzz going around about that Quiet Storm. Talk to me about it. Word, word. Quiet Storm is um, my latest CD. We uh, call it Street Out because it's a little bit more than a mixtape and a little bit less than an album. So um, right now we're gonna push that. Um, you know, it's coming out December second. It's a lot of uh, slow music. Um, the theme. It, most of my CDs always have a theme. Like Game Cocky was more of the the theme of um, you know uh, just showing my different personalities, showing my different styles. This right here is more of the theme of um, having you know like it's getting cold, so the couples wrapping up during the winter time. You know, it's gonna get real cold. And, People gonna be inside, so they need that soft music to get them in the mood. So, um, the theme of this CD is that I taken over a radio station and all we playing that whole night is my music. So, you know, I'll be the DJ and people will call in and request what they want to hear from me. So, the CD, I mean, it goes. I, I guarantee you, it goes 100% hard. Like I, I can't say anything else, but that it goes 100% hard. <laughs> Uh, so uh, let me ask you something though. Uh, will Quiet Storm be the CD that I would need? You know what I'm saying? Let's say you know if I was single for a night, uh, would that be the CD to play? You know what I'm saying? Just to have the mood set to let her know that I'm trying to be down with her. I'm trying to fold her up for the night. Look, Quiet Storm will be the CD if you want her for a night, if you want her for eternity, if you want her for two minutes, five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet Storm gonna have it, it has a uh, it even has a song that um, talks about like a situation where you kind of mad at old girl, but it, it's not that you know that you get mad at her and you don't want to deal with it no more. It's just that you need to cool down and think about the whole relationship thing. You know how y'all going through y'all situations. So like, it's it's all kind of uh, subtle situations, but for the most part, you know, it starts out. The whole CD starts out with "Love in the Rain," which is one of the um the most requested tracks besides "Cameo" and "Guitar." So, um, and you can also check out. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little promo right now. You can check out Cameo on youtubecom slash SC. If y'all don't know how to spell my name, it's Christ O U C H R I S T O U, and you already know what it is. S C. Let's get it. <laughs> now I seen I seen Mr. Gasoline, you know, and I always wanted to ask you, you know, what I'm saying, where in the hell did you get those dancers behind you? Cause they showed out. <laughs> Word, man. Hey, shout out to Dance South, Dance South Studio Inc. You know what I'm saying? They um right here in Columbia, they did some um shows uh at Wild Out Wednesday and um. You know, they work for some other artists, so, you know, I felt pretty honored that they wanted to work with me as well, and, you know, they support the move and, um, you know, want to help us in any kind of way, so, you know, we, uh, we told, we let them listen to the, and let them decide what songs they want to work with, and, um, they, they really love Mr. Gasoline, because it was more tempo, so they could dance to it, so, um, they came out, we, uh, 
that location is real exclusive. It's actually under the um, Elmwood Bridge, like when you're coming into Columbia off of um, 126. So oh, like, okay. um, they came, all came out there ready in uniform. They had their they dance moves ready. And we really had a good time out there. So again, shout out to Dance South Studios. You know what I'm saying? They got all ages with dancers. Y'all need to hit them up for a video. Go ahead and do that. They on Twitter, at Dance South. And um, on Facebook, Dance South, like them up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody holler out. That's right, man. For the people who ain't seen uh, the Mr. Gasoline video, it is on HurtEmGame.com. And uh, it's also on YouTube as well, man. So make sure y'all check that out because they really showed up. I mean, Chris Style did his thing too now, but, you know, they was showing up. You know what I'm saying? They, they did his thing, man. And um, For the website, dog. That website's so official. I be going there just to find out, like, anything, you know, who doing what. You you don't just show love to you. You show love to everybody. And that's always been a trait about you, dog, that I admire. So that's what's up. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. I'm just, I'm trying to, you know, help promote all these artists who, you know, seem to always be screaming that it ain't nobody in their corner. I'm just letting them know, you know, artists do support artists, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I, like I say, this is Hurt em Game 101. You know, we divide the real from the fake. That's what it is. Real recognize real. You already know. Um, now, Chris, uh, man, uh, quick question. If there was anyone, you know what I'm saying, that uh, you wanted to be mentored by, you know what I'm saying, or you wanted to be snatched up, you know, and put underneath their wings, who would that be? Right now, um, it would have to be my favorite artist. Anybody that's close to me knows who my favorite artist is. Um, no, it's not 2 Chainz, because I do listen to 2 Chainz a lot, but it's ludicrous. And I like Ludacris because not only is he a talented rapper, but he, he's very uh, smart business-wise, too. You know, he, he takes um, a lot of risks, but he also makes very smart business decisions. So I would like to be around that because at the end of the day, that's what I want to be able to do is make the best decisions business-wise so that I can, you know, give back just like, you know, uh, some things he does with his foundation. So, you know, if a major artist was to come and take me under their wing right now, I would feel real comfortable being in Ludacris' corner, you know, and having him in the you. Okay, okay. Yeah, Ludacris is a hard rapper, man, very talented rapper and everything. You know, somebody who I know me as well as you would love to collab with one day in the future. You know, that time will come, though. Of course, of course. <laughs> Now, uh, you know, you being the first, you know, person I interview, man, I'm going to go ahead and start something off, you know what I'm saying, where I just throw, like, a particular type of issue question out there, and, you know, you give me any feedback on it, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to holler at you, man, and just get get your take on this whole, you know, Lil Wayne and Jay-Z beef, you know what I'm saying? Talk to me about that. Like, like what side you picking on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what side you against? Do you feel that Wayne got more money than Jay-Z? Talk to me. With that whole beef situation, um, me, myself, personally, I try to stay away from any conflict because I'm all about, you know, all of us are the same race and, you know, we all men trying to get it. And they are both men that are getting it. So, like, I don't feel like I, I should participate as far as in the beef because I, I love both of them as artists and both of them are, you know, very smart business-wise, too, so... You know, I don't really take sides. Um, I do think it is still good. You know, you know, a little competition is always healthy. You know what I'm saying? It keeps you on your game. It um, keeps people watching you. You know what I'm saying? As a competitor, it's just like watching a football game. You know, so like I'm not having my favorite team. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying that you know, I like I like watching football games. Feel me with that metaphor. Uh, I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that. I just had, I had wanted to get somebody take on it, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I do that out there. That's what the defender said. Word. Okay. All right, man, so uh, check this out. I know Chris Style don't have no beef whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to skip that right there, you know what I'm saying? But um, is there anything you want to address to some people out there, you know, like uh, whether you had miscommunication or somebody, you know what I'm saying, thought something different about you? Is there anything you want to address right now? Um, The only thing I want to address is because people come to me and ask me this a lot. Um... They want to know, you know, do me and Kenny Kane still grind together? And, you know, we had that hit 
that hit song fly away. So um uh to all the people that ask that, yes we do. Kenny Kane has been he has himself has been a mentor to me, you know, in this music uh game, especially the South Carolina music game. So, you know, he put me up on a lot of knowledge and um, you know, a lot of opportunities. So at the same time we're both separate artists, you know, and we both have our own brands, so you know, you might not see us uh, interact on uh, a lot of social media, but we got each other's phone number, so, you know, all this social media, you know, it really ain't, you know, necessary anyway. But uh, still grind with them. I still grind with uh, Kyler Cream, Lil Rue, you know, all the people that have been grinding with me, Lil Broad, you know, Nation Boy. All the people that have been, you know, grinding with me for a minute, I still grind with everybody. But at the same day, we all have to work. We all have to, got to grind. So, you know, there's no beef. There's no none of that, you know. We just I, I do want to give a lot of these artists, you know, um, some information, and that's to just make sure you work on being the next you. You know what I'm saying? Like we got this level of life that we're right here, you know, and nobody in SC, SC is really like, you know, uh, a top-notch billboard maker, but that's what we all working for. So at the same time, we got to focus on our grind and don't let nobody else you know, take us away from what we're doing, you know, take our mind away from what we're doing, and let's just keep working, you know what I'm saying, to get this shine. Right, right, I feel you on that, man. You need to understand, man, it's all about working together, you know what I'm saying, because you can work by yourself all you want, man, next thing you know, you be 42 years old, still talking about check out the demo and shit. <laughs> it works, that's real. Yeah, we got to work together. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, man. You know what I'm saying? With everything good style, man. Like I say, you 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 killing the interview right now. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm on standby. <laughs> you know, I'm just jumping in whenever I can. But um, uh, just tell us, you know, when, when Quiet Storm is supposed to drop. You know what I'm saying? Because I did her in November 1st, but uh, I, I think y'all pushed it back. So talk to me. Yeah, man, I've been, I have been. was on Twitter talking just about how they pushed the Jesus joint back, but we actually needed to, you know, do this to, um, to prepare a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, just to, um, and to also build anticipation, which, you know, it's been anticipated since I said November 1st, so that's, that's been a blessing in itself, but Quiet Storm is coming out December 2nd. We'll have CDs at my party, um, which will be at Apple Bottoms, Broad River, no, Bush River Road, Columbia, South Carolina, December the 2nd, Quiet Storm. You'll, uh, you'll actually hear a feature from KO, so shout out to KO on there, um, on Sit Back Music. That's gonna be a hot joint. Um, check me out at ChrisStyleSC.net. You know, I have, uh, you can download my game copy from there. Um, the whole site is not finished, but it'll be finished soon. Uh, we also got youtube.com slash chrisstylesc. I got my commercial on there for Quiet Storm. I got a lot of other videos of me performing live and then videos, like you said, on Hurt'em Game. Uh, Mr. Gasoline, you can check me out there. Um, oh, facebook.com slash chrisstylesc. You'll definitely get a lot of information from me there, you know what I'm saying? That's why I keep the most updates. Um, Twitter, at ChrisStyleSC. Y'all check me out. You already know what it is. You know entertainment in the building. Live. Heard them gas. Get them hurt. <laughs> Yeah, man, so uh, we're going to wrap this up, man. Like I say, if you are uh, just listening in, man, I went ahead and interviewed, you know what I'm saying, the big R&B hit, Chris Style, man. He got an uh, album coming out, street album called Quiet Storm, man, so be on the lookout for that. You know, it's, it's, it's strictly for the ladies, you know what I'm saying, but the niggas going to have to copy to get the ladies, you feel me? But um, like I say, man, it's Big Hurt, man. Hurt him getting one-on-one, but we divide the thrill from the fake, man. We out. Yeah. She's never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets, like it on top of the club. Never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets, like it on top of the club. Never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets, like it on top of the club. Never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets, never in the sheets.